Today I will be teaching you how to color ombre on chrome canvas. Only thing you will need is the access to chrome canvas and it is optional to have a stylus. I'm using this Targus one and it works really nice. It glides well. I would strongly recommend using a stylus, but it isn't required. We're gonna zoom outward so we can see the entire canvas. Now we're gonna wanna select the color that we are gonna make ombre. So I'm gonna use a bluey green. I'm gonna start by checking, make sure you have marker selected and I'm gonna wanna up the size and opacity to 100%. So now we're just gonna kind of, it doesn't really matter how it looks as long as it's kind of just there. And we're gonna take the second darkest shade, kind of just same thing. And then finally the darkest shade and just kind of lay it out there. So now the trick is to take your opacity and then turn it down to maybe 9, 10-ish. And you're gonna wanna just start like vigorously blending. This is why I highly recommend a stylus because it's just so much easier uh, as compared to just doing this over and over again because that'll eventually start hurting your finger, etc. So sometimes we just wanna change the opacity. There's kind of a distinctive line here, so I upped it a bit so I can just make sure that line is uh, invisible. I'm gonna maybe turn it up a little bit more. Now that we have that kind of dividing line, so you can't see it, we're gonna turn down the opacity to four. Now we're just gonna wanna take this and kind of just blend. So now it doesn't really look like much, but as long as you keep playing with the opacity, like I'm gonna change it to eight now, so I can kind of just really make it, give it that ombre effect. Now we're gonna wanna change it to this light, this medium shade. We're just gonna wanna start blending back down, kind of make it all blend in together. So now I'm gonna change on the opacity to three, kind of just work my way down Maybe take this, change it down to one, and just kind of keep going, blending, blended it all nice. Um, we can always switch back to the darker color, just kind of really blend it in well. So this is good for now. So now we're going to want to go to our medium shade and just maybe up the opacity to nine, and just start blending up. So you just really wanna, once again, make sure you can't see this line right here, so you might have to go over it a few times, and maybe I'm gonna change the opacity to 17. By the way, these opacity numbers, it's you don't have to do that specifically, it's kind of just guesswork. So four now, kind of just make it as seamless as possible. And I'm gonna switch to this lighter blue now and kind of, once again, just work my way down. I'm going to go over this, just the lighter blue with it, just so it looks a little more match. Cause right now, like especially down here, you can kind of see it. this is all with that more opaque color and this is kind of just solid so we're going to start by going over it up here and then we're going to want to change it to the darker one go over it maybe change the opacity to nine just go over it a ton of times kind of just make sure everything kind of looks uniform So now we kind of have our basic ombre color, but it doesn't quite look ready yet. So we're gonna change it to the chalk. Um, we're gonna wanna make the opacity maybe like four-ish. Uh, we'll do three. So 
and then we're going to want to change it to the medium color and kind of just go over the whole thing like it doesn't look like it's doing anything but it just helps everything look like a little better a little more blended just make it all look good so you don't have to go over stuff too many times because it'll start to show up like if you go it go over it too much so now we can switch back to the marker pen and we are going to switch to white so want to make sure the opacity is on like nine that works and just kind of go over at the top oh that's a little too opaque so yeah i'm going to change it to four and kind of just go over up here blend it start blending it downward change it to one keep blending it downward we're going to want to do the same thing down here but instead of white we're going to go do gonna first select that color and then go to custom and just take this circle and drag it down a little bit then we're just gonna kind of go over this make it look darker you can't really see it so I'm gonna up the opacity to two one good test to make sure it's like you can see it at least a little bit I just scribble on the side over here so I can it's not very visible but it's still there so I know that it's working. Kind of just. So here we're just gonna. Now this is kind of the touching up phase. So I can go back. Anything that doesn't look quite right, just kind of go over it a bit. This is very like up to you. It's like where you do what you want. So it's just kind of like here. I'm just gonna blend that a bit more. So now, when you feel done, this is where it gets kind of cool. If you press new layer, a new layer, this is where you can use this for what you, whatever you want to do in your drawing. So once I create this new layer, you can, I can just do this. So if you just wanted to make an ombre heart, you could. So this is the final product. This is what it's going to look like when you're done. And I think it looks pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Have a nice day.